Welcome back guys to the channel. I have another body here. This one is actually going to be for me or maybe not. I'm debating if I'm going to give this one away. I'm still debating. When this video comes out or maybe I'll make a post on Instagram. And we'll see. But as of right now, this is what I'm I already cut it out. As you can see, Pretty, straight, pretty straightforward. This one is a Tamiya. You guys are wondering what it is. It is the Ford Mustang, the GT4 car. All right. And it comes with uh, all this, which um, I won't be using. <laughs> the only thing I would be using is the masking for the windows and lights and all that. So you get the body. All right, you got the, the light buckets, which I just finished cutting out. That's what they were. That's what they look like when they're all cut out. You get the front and back. And then you also get the wing. All right? It's a pretty good looking wing, to be honest. And I think one thing I like about Tamiya bodies is that once, when they give you, when they give you like the spoilers, or the wings, whichever one you guys want to call it, they always have the holes marked where they go. As you can see so it's very hard to kind of mess it up see it lines up perfectly you just drill those two small little holes there and that on there you plug this guy through all right as you can see right there I have to cut it off of course and there you go and it's the same thing for the side mirrors all right this is already a pre-marked hole yeah there it is and you stab this guy in there Hold it with a, the body pulse pin, boom, from the inside, and it's done. Obviously, these are for um, the body holes of a Tamiya chassis that you're using, like a TTO one or something like that. But obviously, it's, it's going to go on my drift car, so I won't be making any holes. And it'll be going on my YD2, my YD2 S Plus over here, as you can see. With, uh, yeah, custom parts, of course. Just a slide rack, but you guys know this body, this chassis. If you guys don't know about more, more about this chassis, leave a comment. I guess I can make a, I guess another video, or maybe I'll leave a link. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so I decided to do the Falcon livery, or at least the Falcon color style livery. I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to get the Falcon stickers and all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it look just like uh, Justin Pollock's Mustang from Formula Drift. So the hood will be black, of course. The the top is black for his car, and I believe the the back here area is black. So I don't need to worry about coloring the back here and then the sides. And as you can see, I already marked um, my lines. Just use the, the sharpie both sides, just to mark. I have this tape here because this will be black. All right. And then the front here will be black. I'm gonna change that up and make this black. The only hard part about this, right, is that getting the mask to mask that inside there, you see that little bevel there? It's gonna be so hard, like real hard. And I'm probably gonna mess it up. <laughs> Cause the tape probably won't be able, I won't be able to get the tape in there to, to make it stick properly. So I'm just gonna paint this black part from the outside and then I'm okay with that because then when I do, uh, when I rub the walls or rub the rails and the black starts fading, you'll see the the green, the falcon green behind it. So it's okay for me. I can live with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just marked this because this is where the green and the blue, they do the crisscrossing matching. All right, and I already masked the windows, as you can see. Right, and uh, the other lights, as you can see as well. I already washed the body. So I'm going to start... Uh, Masking, I'll bring you guys back when I have that done because I don't want to do a time lapse of it. I don't want to make this video more than like 20 minutes long. I try to keep it less than 30. So if I do a lot of time lapses, the videos will get so much longer. <laughs> so yeah, so everything is masked off. Uh, th this part here, this is not masked. Uh, sorry, this is, doesn't come with the masking for this. So this is this is me doing my own masking here. Because looking at the, at the Mustang and this is actually a light. So, yeah, and it looks like I'm gone over, but I'm not. It's, there you go, see, that's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. Oh, 
This one's still up a little bit there, so I gotta tuck that in. Just get my nail in there and bring it down. There you go. So I'm definitely gonna get overspray in that area, most likely for sure. Which I'm okay with. There you go. But it happens. It is what it is. I do my best. I'll clean it up after. So yeah. Again, I'll bring you guys back when I have, uh, I guess I gotta mask all this, mask this, mask that, and then I'm gonna have my lines done. All right. All the masking is done, as you can see. Pretty straightforward, I guess. All right. For the Falcon livery on uh, the Ford Mustang, just like Justin Pollock. And I call it Justin Pollock's livery because he's the only one that has a Ford Mustang with the Falcon livery. But the Falcon livery is a Falcon livery. So there's a lot of, there's like an E30, there's the E46. What else you got? You got the S14 from um, Odie Bachis from a Formula Drift. So there's a few guys with the Falcon livery, right? So uh, I just call this one Justin Pollock's livery because he's the only, or he, yeah, he's the only one that I've seen that has the Falcon livery on a Ford Mustang. Only reason. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's, uh, yeah. And as you can see how I mark it, I use, right? Marker from the outside of, obviously. And then I mark where it should be so it's as straight as possible. It's not perfect, right? I'm not 100% perfect, it's, it's tough, right? But yeah, but close enough. And then obviously the first color, if you guys wanna do the Falcon livery is cobalt green. Is the closest green that I know that's gonna get me to the how it looks. And then uh, I back it up with uh, PS1, which is white. So these are the two colors to get that green you're looking for. It's not gonna be exactly like the Falcon Liberty Green, right? It's but it's 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 gonna be pretty close, pretty close to it. So yeah, so I'll bring you guys back when I have uh, that done. All right, so the first coat of uh, painting, or not the first coat, I should say. Sorry, the first layer of painting is done, as you can see. All right, all the way down on both sides. And I actually, I actually did five coats. I know in the previous, I said four coats, but it actually turned out to be five coats. So again, a mist coat, a second thicker mist coat, and then uh, three coats or two coats that were pretty thick. And then this last coat was just to try to fill in gaps and stuff. Just to like, just to like get the paint to go into this little lip here, as you can see. I don't want to touch inside yet. See how it's like in there. So it's very, so I can flip it over just to get paint in, inside there. As you can see, it's still kind of see it's kind of still kind of green there. Kind of, I think it's just lighting. Yeah, see, it's dark, so that's why it's uh, five coats, I should say. And then I backed it up with white, obviously, as you can see. And again, just if you guys are wondering, if you're skipping forward, those are the Tamiya paints I use. And this one was just one nice coat, one nice thick, even coat of the white all right so the, it has been drying for the last uh hour and a half almost two hours now so it's been drying that's why i'm it's back inside and uh yeah i'm gonna let it dry probably for another hour and a half so it'll be about three four hours and then i'll take the this paint off and it's already getting dark outside so i'm probably not gonna paint the blue today um but um but yeah, just showing progress. Progress, progress, progress. I'm gonna bring you guys back when I have this uh, unmasked. Oh, but before I do that, let me show you the blue. Obviously, because you guys are gonna be wondering what blue I'm using. And uh, here it is. It's PS30, brilliant blue. So this is the blue that's gonna be, or looks like, it'll get the closest to like the Falcon style livery blue. And then again, this one, I'll, I'm going to paint this one. It'll be the same thing. It'll be four, maybe five coats of this one. And I'm going to back it up with white as well. So it pops. All right. So I'm going to bring you guys back when I have uh, uh, the blue one. And then I'll do the black at the end, of course, for the hood and the top. I don't think I'm going to do the trunk part black. I think I'll just leave that blue. I think it'll look better with the black wing there. All right. Bring us back after. Here is the painted 
uh, with the blue. I did the blue paint. I let it cure for about an hour and a half. And then I removed the masking and then I painted the black. The black has been drying for about an hour, so it's still whew, still pretty strong to paint. So I gotta, I'm gonna put it back in the washroom when I have the fan there, turn the fan on, let it dry some more, or let it cure some more. But yeah, if you guys are wondering about the tape here, it's because when I had the tape here on the on the sides here, this, this is painted black. When I removed it, because I, I, I wrap around it so the tape comes over and then I wrap over it like this. It was removing some of the protective film, the, you know, the clear coat, the clear film that's on top. So I just put this tape over it like this, just so when I'm painting it, it doesn't go over. It was only on this side that it did it. This side was, uh, the, the other side it didn't do that. Or oh, only did it on one section right here. Everything else stayed fine. All right, but yeah, so there's the paint. I got a little bit of orange spray here. It looks like the, the, the mask can peeled up, which is fine, right? I used my Tamiya paint remover to remove that so yeah so that's the progress so far so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab uh, my knife and as you can see that little line there I'm gonna cut that line and this line so the window here to that line there all around I don't think I'm gonna do the front um, no I'm not gonna do the front the front is pretty good it doesn't even have a, a really a trim there anyway so that's fine neither am I going to get the back as well it's pretty straight forward I'm just going to use my black marker just to fill it in nicely just give it a nice little line and then um, yeah so that, that's all yeah so just this I'm going to do and then I'm going to do oh obviously I'm going to do the, the rear bumper here so I'm going to cut this part out here all the way and then remove it and then paint black from out here just what I'm gonna, just what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do to this one too, even though I painted it from the inside, right? You can fully see it's painted. I'm gonna do it from the outside too, just so it stays the same black all around. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the front because I don't, if you guys skipped, I, I couldn't get the paint or the paint, the tape into this little crevice here to mask it. So it would have been ugly looking. So I'm just gonna cut from the outside. And the good, the good part about this is now I can actually my knife I can cut the, this part out here all the way around I'm gonna go up this carnard here or this little lip here and then up and then down to this flip here oh I'm blocking it sorry guys so I'm gonna, again I'm gonna go here I'm gonna cut out here I'm gonna go up and then up this line over I'm gonna come down here obviously on, on the inside though on the inside there down all the way to this part and I'm gonna go all the way around and then repeat so then everything, so then this will be, uh, stay with the, the falcon green and this part here will all be black. I'm still debating if I could leave and leave this green and just do this part black, but I think that might be, I think that might look too weird. <laughs> but there's like another, see this little line here? It's like a cool looking line, so I'm thinking I'm going to cut that line too with this line here. To leave that green. I'm thinking so I might just do this part here black and then do these part these ones here to go up black so then all this here would stay green or and then it might even just do this part here black so from here to here black and then just leave this part green but well I'll wait I'll let you guys see that when I'm done um, uh, this part I'm gonna paint black as well because I'm, I'm debating on cutting it, but I don't know if I'm gonna cut it So I'm just gonna paint it black until I can make a decision if I'm gonna cut this out or not. So I'm gonna paint that black as well And uh, this part here, I'm gonna leave green. Oh, sorry this part here. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut for sure So I'm not gonna worry about masking that or painting that part. This one here I'm gonna paint black because Still debating but this part will get cut out for sure Maybe <laughs> I'll bring you guys back when I have all that done, but I'm just going to let this uh, dry for like about another hour or so, and then we'll go from there. All right, I still got some tape all around, so, oh, yeah, all right, bring you guys back when I have this done. There we go. I got all the window trim, all painted from the outside. I did the side squares from the outside as well, even though I painted from the inside, I did it from the outside, so I have the same color. I got the front, as you can see, 
right? It's all painted. This side as well, driver's side. And I got the rear all painted up as well. So I'm just gonna remove all the masking, which I did. Oh, I got a little bit of blue over spray there, as you can see. So I'm gonna clean that up. And then I'm gonna start painting the headlights uh, yellow. And then I'm gonna paint um, the back ones uh, red. So if you guys are wondering, cause I do get a few questions still, it's uh, clear red, X27. It's very translucent, you can see. You can see right through it, right? It's translucent. Oh. And then it's the same thing with the yellow. This one is uh, clear yellow X24, right? There you go. It's X24, X27, that's what I use for my lights. So I'm just gonna remove all the masking from the inside. I still, I'm, I'm gonna leave the masking from the outside because I'm gonna be flipping the body upside down like this so I can do the masking, right? Uh, sorry, so I can do the the paint on the headlights so yeah that's why you always do the the removing of the film at the very end and end so i know everything's done so even to put my side mirrors i'm gonna i'm gonna do make mark all the holes and then put them on while the protective film is still on it just in case i gotta flip the body so on and so on yeah so i'm gonna bring you guys back and have that done Ooh, and I still got to mark the holes for this guy, for the spoiler. The only good thing is, as you can see, it already came pre-marked, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Just mark the holes to... Just drill the holes or... So I should use the... Sorry, not drill the holes. Use the body hole or the... You know, for body, for body holes, for body mounts. This guy. That's what I use. Using one hand here. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. So, oh, I'm the wrong side. So this guy. All right, to make my holes for that. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the lights, as you can see. All right, as you can see, I already, I already have a, a clear plastic piece there. All I did was I grabbed the extra material from, from here. All right, and then I grab my headlight, sorry, headlight, my review mirror, and I put it like that, marked it with a marker, and then I cut it out, and then just stuck it in. That's all I did. After that, you can paint this chrome or put a sticker on it. Uh, for me, it has a sticker, yeah, right there. So I'm just going to put that sticker right on the plastic there so that's how if you guys ever wonder that's how I do it different ways to do it but that's how I do it I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the headlights yet I don't know if I'm gonna paint these black or if I'm gonna go chrome I might go black with them but I might be like a, a very thin coat of black like very thin that's what I'm thinking but I'm also thinking of masking of masking like this part of it it's hard to do this with one hand <laughs> thinking of masking these right there from obviously from this side right so i'm gonna mask the steps so you can see the steps so the part where you would step down to so be this one that one that one and that one i'm thinking of masking those and then paint it black so then that way that'll stay clear so that way when i put a light Behind it, I'm just going to put a light here and then just use a, a glue gun to hold the light in there. It'll shine through the part that I masked and everything else will be black. All right? I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> and then this guy here, I'm probably just going to paint it black, like a thin coat of black, though, very light. Won't be, it won't be heavy. So, and then put a light there as well so it just shines through. Because I don't want to drill the hole and put a light through it. It doesn't, I don't think it'll look good. But again, that's my option to do that <laughs> and then for the rear I still have yet to decide what I'm gonna do with the rear I know I'm gonna paint this one red right the one that the one I just showed you that one I'm debating if I'm gonna do this one red as well or if I'm just gonna do a light coat of uh, red so it'll be like a very thin coat not a hard coat a very thin coat I'm debating 
still debating, and I have, I have the stickers here. As you can see, it's, it's like a darker than lighter. So I'm thinking I might just put these stickers and I just stick them on uh, in here. So then that way when I put it through there, if you look at it closely, when I have the paint, right, it'll be translucent and then this behind it with a darker lighter, it might pop out. That's what I'm thinking. But if I do it, I'll show you guys and then, um, yeah. I ended up uh, doing the lights, just like I said, so I'm just bringing you guys an update. There's the rear, All right? And there's the front, as you can see. It's Yes, it's blurry because the protective film is still on it, but you can see the yellow through it, All right? Top and the bottom. All right, on top of that, I finished painting the headlights. So I left it like that, as you can see, I masked it. So when I put it, uh, you won't be able to tell. <laughs> You won't be able to tell. No, it's too dark. <laughs> but when it's in there, my plan is to put a light. My plan is to put a light here with hot glue, like I said. So then it shines through to those clear areas. And as you can see, it's not, I didn't paint it like full blacked out. I left it mist. This is literally only two coats of black mist on a can that I was pretty much running out. Because I plan to just put a, a light on, on this one here anyways. And it's for the light buckets, which to me, it's, you know, it's inside the car and I painted it yellow. So it's no, yeah, I wasn't looking for the perfect clear, I guess I'd say, because I want light to shine through this if I put another light behind it. But uh, you'll see the end product of what I mean. And then I did uh, the light buckets here. I did the same thing. I just missed two mist coats, so it's not uh, dark. Oh. As you can still see, I still have some white spots, so I didn't go a third coat to make, you know, to cover all those areas. I didn't want that. I want it to be very translucent like this, so I went very light, two light coats. And then what I ended up doing, if I was gonna do this one too, but I want to show you guys, was I put the light sticker from here, from the decals, on just like that. All right, so then that way, let me turn this guy back around. Hope you guys can pick it up and see it is bright out now. The sun's coming through. It'll look like that. See that? That's this. We'll put the light. There you go. So it's dark and light for the sticker. So that's perfect. That's what I wanted. Like I know the camera or the video won't do justice, but yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so my plan is to put uh, lights in the back. I still haven't decided on which lights I'm gonna do, but when I figure it out, I'm gonna show you guys the. The process this is taking this is about a week build for me to do this because yeah i got things to do <laughs> work and stuff so i can't just sit here and do this all day but uh yeah this is what i have so far so i'm gonna do the same thing to this guy i'm gonna get those guys mounted obviously and then once i figure out the exact lighting which is what i'm gonna do i'll let you guys know I ended up getting uh, installing the the light buckets. Obviously, you can't tell, but they're in there. There you go, and the rear. There you go. <laughs> and I was just gonna remove the masking so I could do the decals and then and then put the the spoiler on, All right? So I can put them in. And oh, where they go? Oh, there they are. And also the mirrors. As you can see, I put the sticker on the mirrors, just like I, I mentioned earlier. Uh, so I wanted to unmask this. I know you guys like to see it. It's hard for me to do it with one hand, so I'm just gonna do as much as I can with one hand, and then you guys can see the rest. Oh. Right. That's so tough. What is this black part here? Oh, did I mess up there? I don't know if the oh I might be oversprayed. There must have been a hole on the on the wrap there. But that's easy cleanable with the Tamiya paint remover, so I can just wipe that off, not a problem. It looks like the same thing happened here. So that's no biggie. And then uh yeah, just gonna show you guys. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
rip that off. But uh, yeah, you guys can see. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Obviously, yeah, it's hard for me to do this with one hand. Like I said, oh, I don't have a stand for my phone. I am using my phone to record. My GoPro wasn't recording as good. I got the GoPro 5, so it wasn't, I don't know what's wrong with it. But it just wasn't giving me the quality I wanted, so. So I'm just using my iPhone now to record. So I need to buy invest in a stand, but yeah. I just wanted to show you guys this, what it looks like. Before I, I fully remove it and put the, the decals on. Because as I did mention, I'm just going to put on these guys here. What I have. <laughs> but yeah. Man, that looks amazing. Alright, I'll bring you guys back when I have this folder removed. Hope you guys like what you see so far.